Hey guys, what's up? It's Prankin' the Meatball here, and welcome to my first Let's Play. On this channel, at least. Now, I've been doing Let's Plays for almost six months now, I think, on an old channel called Ninja Spiny. If you've heard about it, good for you. But I just decided I wanted a fresh start, so here I am. And what better way to start this new channel than to play a game based on one of my favorite Cartoon Network TV shows of all time. Now, this game is... Drumroll, please. Loading screen, be gone. This is Kids Next Door Operation Video Game. Press start to begin. Create profile, and let's go to caps lock. I am going to name this file... Prank Ball. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just want to. Okay, and let's just, just use three L's at the end, just because we're serious. Okay, save Prank Ball on slot A. Thank you for that. Let's start the game. Now, I got a message for you kids under the age of 13. You have all been living in a lie. So what you're about to see is top secret. Let's start the game. Operation Tutorial. But don't worry, you don't have to regret that you didn't choose the blue pill. Welcome to the world. A world ruled by adults. A world where kids are forced to take naps, allowed only limited time to play video games, and are marched off to schools to learn the grown-ups version of history. A world where every precious moment of our free time is replaced by homework and piano lessons. Where our dinner plates are piled high with horrible, shriveled, slimy green vegetables. But there is a group of kids who have stood up to say no. A group committed to battling the forces of adulthood and restoring freedom to kids everywhere. Recruited from the best and brightest kids around the globe. All are under the age of 13 and operating under the direction of our global command center on the surface of the moon. We are the kids next door. James Bond, go throw yourself in the wall. Go kill yourself, Ethan Hunt. These are the real spy kids. They got a moon base, and you don't. So screw you. I'm impressed, number two. You actually built a virtual mission simulator. I made it number one size fits all. <laughs> Douchebag. Not number three. I just bam did one of my new special moves. Watch me hit the turbo button and really. Wow! Your special move just turned off the game. Whoops! I must have hit the power button by accident. Move over, you guys. It's time for number five to show you just how special a move can be. What? Oh, that's you, you cheater! Like your sister sneaking around like that. Cree. Man, even when she's sneaking around, she's so not on our side, number two. Need I remind you that while Cree once used to be a kids next door operative, she is now a teenager and our sworn enemy. Yeah, yeah, my sister may have taught me a few things, but that doesn't change the fact that I just whooped your butt number four. Okay, I'm ready. Someone had me a controller, and I'll show you how a real Kids Next Door operative trains for a mission. <laughs> wow, these graphics are amazing, and the sound effects just like the... Toiletator! Exactly! By single-handedly flushing the Kids Next Door, I'll become the most famous villain ever! There'll be interviews. Book deals, direct a video movies! Number one, the Toilinator is in the treehouse! Well, of course he is, number five. How better to start my training than with a simple test of my skills against a pathetic villain like the Toilinator? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> with these terrifying toilets, this treehouse will be flooded with raw sewage in no time! 
I love the smell of sewage in the morning. Man, and I thought number two used too much paper. <laughs> Get it? Number two uses too much toilet paper. <laughs> And I always thought that it was number two who came up with all those crappy jokes, but I stand corrected. And behold, one of the most awesome loading screens in video game history. Look at the Toilinator over there. I'm doing the flushing dance. I'm doing the flushing dance. I wanna flush my toilet. Can I flush your toilet? So, number one, if you think some fancy helmet is going to save you from the flush tabulous wrath of the Toilinator! You are soggily mistaken! <laughs> yeah, this game is a pun paradise. You've really outdone yourself, number two. This VR simulator is incredible. He looks so real, so pathetic. Pathetic? But, uh, but I'm the most powerful, most fearsome villain of them all! Now that's an accurate simulation. Toilinator doesn't have a clue, just like in real life. Kids next door. You know you're a dumbass, number one. You do know that, right? God. Okay, but we use the control stick to move around. We press Y to attack with our Jizza gun. We're shooting Jizza balls. And we press the A button to jump. Basic controls. And we press the L button to lock on. Thank you that for that game. Let's shoot the Jizza balls at him. And this is a checkpoint. It will it, it will save our progress in the level in case we die. And this this is kind of reminds me like a Ratchet and Clank game. It's just a third person shooter, and you get the ability to strafe and all that kind of stuff. Kids next door collectible item power shot. You know I think it's pronounced power shot, but you don't you don't argue with the robot. So I'm, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it power shot anyways. Let's just uh, continue on right now and just completely annihilate him with our Jizza gun. And this is a bag of candy, and these restore health. Remember, kids, candy is good for you. And he shoots toilet paper at us. And now we actually have to use the power shot to actually damage him. So you want to do that. And when you, you when you charge up the power shot, you became you become invincible for a uh, uh, for as long as you charge it up. Just look at this. He can't hit me right now. And he just keeps on throwing these grenades. Toilets will be fully installed and plugged to the room with industrial strength toilet paper. Clogging toilets with toilet paper to attack us? Of course, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Oh yeah, you'll see. Even jiggling the handle won't stop the overwhelming overflow of raw, stinky sewage. Soon the kids next door treehouse will become the kids next door outhouse. <laughs> How typical. Yeah, these interruptions can be quite annoying at some times when I'm trying to do my commentary, but I'm, I'm not gonna try to think about it that much. But now we actually have a health bar, so now we can just pound away at him. Ooh, look at that! The hitness on my musket shots are very nice! Like, like everything else in this game, nothing makes sense. Just you wait, number one! With a few more of my toilets installed! I really can't wait to face some better opponents in this simulation. Yeah. Actually. Oh my god. He just keeps on throwing the toilet paper grenades at you. <laughs> it's like, where does he store those toilet paper rolls? Is it in his ass? He just puts his hand behind himself and pulls out a new toilet paper roll every time. The power of my butt flow is infinite. <laughs> Okay, I have been dragging out this battle for far too long now, so let's just finish the job. Ouch! Okay, let's just let's just take him out now. Okay, and he is down. Well, now number two, after that training session, I think I'm ready for more of a challenge. Is there a super insane difficulty setting instead of super lame? But I'm a super villain. Facing me should be a super challenge, right? Uh, anybody? Realistic to the end. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I threw this simulated toiletator out the window. Hey, what are you? Kids next door. You know, number one, I'm pretty sure nothing would happen because if this guy actually was simulated, you wouldn't be able to touch him because this is not that real of a video game you're in in your virtual helmet that's not even on since you can see him. But he will just sit here for the rest of the time you're in in this in this stage, and unfortunately. There is no teabagging function in this game, but I'm just doing it in my mind. <laughs> okay, and before you actually grab the rainbow monkeys in this, what you want to do, you want to kick every toilet paper roll into this uh, tractor tire, I think it's called a tractor tire, 
but just kick every toilet paper roll in there because there is some secret in this stage. This one secret, actually, that you want you will get after you've uh, after you've kicked every single toilet paper roll into the middle. So you want to do that. I'm going to show you every single secret in this game, just because I'm uh, I'm 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 nice. And why did I kick this thing all the way over here? Come on, down in the middle with you. Where'd it go? Hey, that's not nice. Where the frick? Stupid toolbox! I hate you. I'm just gonna kick your ass. Okay. Hey, come back. Into the middle with you. I think this is the last one. Yes. Here is the super secret in the middle. See this uh, pog here? I think it's a pog. <laughs> yeah, we'll grab it. And we got the rainbow happens. monkey as well. Rainbow monkeys will unlock another secret in the stage. I think there are, like, if you grab a hundred rainbow monkeys in each stage, I think you have collected every single secret in each stage that, that it is. So now that we collected 12 rainbow monkeys, we got the first secret, and I think the level is done with that. Yes, mission complete! Everything completed in this. 3 minutes and 37 seconds. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. So join me in the next episode when we will get some answers to questions that might be going around in your head. Will the team get out of the toilet paper? Will the helmet on no number one's head bond like the helmet in the TV show? Will the Toilinator's flushing hand heal? Will the rash in my armpits ever go away? All good questions. Find out the answer in the next episode. Goodbye.